Hello, my name is Stephen Wright. I'm a career coach here at Career Mentor, and we help high-performing financial services professionals make their next smart career move. So as you're preparing for your next job interview, clearly it's important to anticipate the questions that are very likely to come up and then think through how you're going to answer those questions, how you're going to handle them. And this is especially the case with the more awkward and tricky questions. And frankly, there aren't many questions that are more awkward or trickier than the question, can you tell me about your weaknesses? How do you handle a question like that and keep the interview in a positive frame? Well, I think there's a few things to consider, so let's go through them now. The first point to make is, what is it that the interviewer is hoping to achieve by asking this difficult question? Well, first, they may be trying to put you under a bit of pressure in the interview to see how you react to a difficult question under a bit of pressure in an interview situation, just to see how you handle the situation. Other things they may be looking for might be a degree of self-awareness, honesty, self-reflection, and perhaps something around personal growth or self-development. So that, I think, is probably where the interview is coming from. I think it's really important that you do not get drawn into a conversation about your character weaknesses or, or anything like that. You don't necessarily want to talk about anything that may have been negative in your last annual appraisal that is not ground that is going to be useful for, you as, for yourself as a candidate going forward. Rather, I think that there are two ways of answering this question which may well help you. First is to talk about a weakness in terms of a, skills, a skill that you feel that you lack. Now, clearly the skill that you mentioned does not want to be something which is core to the job that you're interviewing for. Maybe something extra on the margin. And also perhaps talk about the work that you've been doing to close that skills gap or plans that you have in mind to achieve that. The second thing to think about is to talk about experiences that you feel that you may lack. And again, this does not want to be experiences which are core to the role that you're talking about. Rather, these are extra experiences that you would like to have at some point in the future, which will round out your ability to add value to a business going forward. So that, I think, is probably the right answer. I hope you found that, um, that brief video useful. I'll be putting the link to the blog that I wrote about this in the comments below. And thanks very much.